The first place that we found was in north, northwest Gainesville, uh, 1901 Northwest 67th Place Suite I. It was a little office in a pretty traditional business park and it had just enough space and more importantly it was what we could afford to have a dedicated space where we could uh, brainstorm, talk through things, more importantly take those talks, translate them um, into prototypes, further tests of the product, and really just keep pushing a little bit by a little bit by a little bit. So it was a pretty natural evolution. Fortunately, we kept surpassing those milestones that we had for ourselves. And at some point, the numbers no longer made sense in terms of us not being able to fit the operation in that little space. Fortunately, in that same business park, the end suite, Suite A, seemed to fit our needs. It's still really affordable. It wasn't exactly in a glamorous part of town. Uh, it wasn't downtown or anything like that. So it fit what we needed, and it was the logical next step. So we just picked up our stuff, drove it over like a couple yards, and we were at Suite A. It was the first space that we had that had a clear delineation and separation between office and manufacturing space. In, in my opinion, that, that, was, that felt like the first real um, fracture operation. When we felt like we could no longer house the manufacturing equipment we needed, that was our signal that we needed to move. Um, when we realized that we were going to get our first institutional investment, and we were going to buy our first big printer, that printer would have taken up like a third of that facility. Um, there, there's no way that printer could have fit there. So that's when we realized, okay, we've got to move. There's just physically no space to put the operation in here, in Suite A. So we immediately started looking, and um, I started working my connections, and that began the story of how we moved to downtown. We felt like this could be home for a little while. It all really depended on how fast we grew. Again, it never crossed my mind that we needed a space bigger than this and bigger and better than the initial configuration we had. But in about 2014, 2015, we started seeing the writing on the wall. Again, finally we were growing. The team was growing. The team was performing better. It was driving in sales. That again, dictated that our manufacturing operation would have to grow. So it was really in 2015 that we started having those thoughts about well, what does the next step look like? A couple years later, actually, in 2017, was when we had continued to grow. Uh, we needed to get more production space. And as luck would have it, uh, our landlords let us know that there was a small office space across the street that we could move the office team into, and that we could annex the office space that was in this facility for more production space. And so we basically kicked out the office team, added more production space, added another printer. Um, the, the landlords built out the facility a little bit more. And you know we kept this as home for a couple more years. And so before I knew it, seven years had passed. We had been in this place for almost a decade, and we needed to grow again. Uh, but I think we had the luxury of being a little bit more thoughtful about uh, how we wanted to grow and where we wanted to grow and uh, just how big of a step we wanted to take up. So in late 2017, early 2018, I started on a journey of trying to figure out uh, both mentally and physically and emotionally what was the right step for Fracture moving forward. In early 2018, to me, the decision crystallized pretty clearly that I wanted to keep Fracture in Gainesville because we had made it that far and I thought we had made it through the hard part. And so now I felt like we could really, really take this thing to the next level. And so that's what I wanted to do with the new facility.
we're significantly um, upgrading every part of Fracture's physical operation. Um, massive increase in production space, massive increase in warehouse space, um, deep investment in the, the office team's um, facilities. And um, I, again, I think it was really a, a move that would put us on the map in a big way. At a recent all-hands meeting um, at Fracture, I, I shared my view that even though we technically only broke ground on this facility about a year ago, which is mind-blowing in its own right, great job, Mitch. Um, this project and, and getting to this point, in my view, is honestly um, a decade's worth of work. And it has been a decade of blood, sweat, and tears, a decade of struggle, of doubts and frustrations and insecurities about what we're doing, if we had what it took, um, what the next day would bring, how we're going to achieve growth. This isn't easy. And yet, you know, here we are, um, a decade full of growth and progress as well. This is really a celebration in part of their efforts, and I could not be prouder of everything they've accomplished. So to everyone who's here from Fracture, this one's for you guys. Thank you uh, with everything I have. In my mind, the, the new facility plays a very strategic uh, role in bringing the team together and allowing us to function both individually and as a group. The biggest way that the facility represents our brand is the fact that you walk through a set of double doors and you walk into this massive 12,500 square foot production floor uh, and then you know walk across that floor, walk into a warehouse and then trek back and you're in this really modern contemporary you know white collar office. And it's beautifully laid out. Uh, really thoughtful where there's distinction, but there's also integration. And I think that's a big part of what Fracture's about. We are this really unique hybrid of blue collar, white collar, all collar, and that's really reflected in our facility. The facility itself really represents the overall thoughtfulness that we try to put into everything we do. Having a facility that's entirely self-sustaining, a green facility, um, and understanding how that ties into our overall vision for what we want Fracture to be in our company values. It's the start um, of what we want to continue to project as a company. We focus tremendously on the value of training lightly on the planet from the very get-go with the facility. So uh, from the most basic of things like our energy source, right? Uh, we're completely solar powered, uh, which is huge for us. Um, secondly, the amount of natural sunlight that we try to bring into the facility limits even the amount of electricity we use regardless, which is also really important. Things like the construction of the facility, the installation, limiting the amount of AC we use, um, all of those things were really thoughtfully integrated into the day-to-day -day, uh, usage of the facility. I think it's important to discuss what camaraderie really means. And so camaraderie is really about being thoughtful and respectful and building really good relationships with your coworkers and, and teammates. How the new facility supports that is that we're just able to have different types of relationships in different spaces in the facility. So if we're co-workers and working on a project together, we can sit down in a collaborative space and work on that project together. If we needed some alone time, if we need some quiet space, the facility allows for that as well. We went into this facility planning process really thinking about how we can make the facility help build and grow relationships. It's really hard to have camaraderie um, without having FaceTime 
really it comes down to the fact that so much of your communication is nonverbal. Being able to be here every day with the production team, you know, with our facilities manager on the other side, with uh, our customer support team, it just gives us more of an opportunity to maintain a much higher level of communication and therefore camaraderie. Innovation is, amongst other things, primarily about trying a number of different things, not being afraid to fail, and learning, iterating, and quickly moving on from those mistakes. And I mean, just the, the, the place where we're sitting in right now is a creative studio that's entirely focused on allowing us to try a bunch of different things, quickly iterate upon them, and then move on. It's amazing to, you know, just be able to walk into this room and really start innovating and creating um, rather than having to, you know, ship it across the country or outsource it to agencies. We can do everything in-house. It allows us to do what we do here in Gainesville, Florida. We're putting the idea of trying new things front and center, and that's really what it's all about. You know, how do you, how do you foster creativity? I mean, that's like the million dollar question in the world, and I think that, you know, it starts by what you surround yourself with in the space. Um, and again, going back to being very thoughtful about, about designing the space, we wanted to design the space, so it, um, it, inspired, it inspired a sense of peace to some degree. We wanted the office to be the place that was almost tranquil. Um, you know, we have rooms dedicated to relaxing. Um, and I think when you can show your employees that the extra expense put into creating something um, that's as beautiful as this, that um, is relaxing and um, isn't just all about you know, the bare necessities of what we need to come in and get our job done, um, it helps inspire those types of things. Coming into the facility here in Gainesville completely blew me away. I had no idea what to expect. When I first walked in the door, I had seen it, you know, just from the videos and from other production updates that we've had the entire time, but finally opening that door and coming in for the first time, it completely blew away, or blew me away and blew away all expectations that I had. Um, I immediately fell in love with the new facility and all the greenery and the colors and just felt that it was the ultimate embodiment of Fracture as a brand. And now we have a space where we can just be who we are. First and foremost, probably just through its sheer size. Um, when you have that much more space to work with, um, it just opens up a lot of options. And you were, we've already seen it literally a month into the facility, we were already seeing huge efficiency gains just as a result of having this space to create a better pattern and a better flow. And so efficiency is really all about working smarter, not harder. That's the end goal. And so for us, uh, the facility allows us to maximize productivity by thinking through the small things, right? Having multiple conference rooms, being able to schedule those conference rooms in advance, seeing who scheduled them conference room uh, before trying to double book it. Those are those small things that may take up minutes or seconds, but over time really accumulate and stop you from doing your best work really quickly. So efficiency isn't just about the now, it's also about planning for the future. And a great example of that is the production manufacturing workspace. We had the opportunity to build out a really optimal workflow where everything was cleanly aligned to make sure we got out as many units as possible in the current footprint. But we know that we're going to have to grow in the future and we have the ability to add in some space so that when we need to grow, we can just immediately start adding on equipment, labor, materials, etc. instead of having to worry about where the space is going to come from that eats into time, money, efficiency. I think the most important thing for us to recognize is that it is not over. This is not it. Uh, this is just the beginning. Um, we are not done, not even close. In my eyes, we are just getting started. And my hope is that this facility will be our platform and our, our launch pad on which we'll truly become a, a world-class company.